Inside the state house, legislators at the state capitol have passed a bill through the General Assembly with the hope to address safety concerns on historic bridges across the state. Our Mackenzie Laporte is working for you with the bridges in our area that are registered historic and what this could mean for future improvements. Mackenzie? The American Road and Transportation Builder Association estimates that there are over 130 million crossings daily on all of the bridges across the state of Illinois. And out of the thousands of bridges we have here in the state, there are several historical bridges across our area. Here in central Illinois, both Sugar Creek Covered Bridge in Sangamon County and Hazen Bridge in Champaign County are both registered as historically significant. Senator Steve McClure filed legislation this spring session that addresses concerns about the future of historic bridges that, while still in use, could pose a potential safety risk to drivers and communities. We want to preserve them, we want to protect them, but we also want to make sure that the people in the area have a convenient bridge to use. He continued to share the inspiration behind the bill came from a constituent about a historic bridge that posed safety issues and couldn't be properly used by folks in the area. Senator McClure explains that because of the bridge's historic significance, the historic registry list can be very protective and there can be hurdles when repairing or replacing a bridge. Infrastructure is a big issue in the area and I'm optimistic that we're going to keep seeing more and more improvements as the years go on, but certainly any historic bridge, it just, there's an extra step needed to get through the process in order to update them and improve them. And, and that's why this bill was filed to make sure we can get some of these bridges improved. Now the bill recognizes the importance of preserving historic places while also providing a pathway forward to allow for much needed repairs or replacements to address all safety concerns. Working for you, I'm Mackenzie Laporte. Thanks, Mackenzie. The bill passed both chambers of the General Assembly and now awaits the signature of the governor. Don't miss a video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel today for more Central Illinois news.